Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today we have a guide for the unique stuff and Daedric artifact known as the Sanguine Rose. And be sure to hit up my social medias, links to them can be found down in the description, and there is also a timestamp that will take you straight to the overview of the weapon if you so wish to use it. Now before we can begin the arduous yet playfully adventurous journey to get the Sanguine Rose, your character will need to be level 14 or higher. So once you have reached that milestone, you'll have a small chance of running into a man named Sam Guavin. And you can only encounter this man in any of Skyrim's taverns, which are and located as follows. The Braidwood Inn in Kynesgrove in the Hold of Eastmarch. The Candle Hearth Hall, found in the city of Windhelm in the Hold of Eastmarch. The new Nissus Corner Club, found in the Grey Quarter of Windhelm, of course, in the Hold of Eastmarch. Dead Man's Drink in the city of Falkreath, which is, of course, in the Hold of Falkreath. The Four Shields Tavern, found in Dragon's Bridge, in the Hold of Harfinger. The Winking Skeever, found within the capital of Skyrim, Solitude, which is within the Hold Harfinger. There is, of course, Moorside Inn, found in the city of Morthal, in the Hold, known as Hjelmark. The Nightgate Inn, which can be found Found in the Wilderness of the Pale. The Stumbling Saber Cat, which is found in the location known as Fort Dunstad, which is found within the Hold the Pale. We've got Wind Peak Inn, found within the city of Dawnstar, which is in the Hold the Pale. The Silver Blood Inn, which can be found in the city of Markarth, which is of course within the Reach. We've got Old Roldan Inn, which can be found in the Wilderness of the Reach. We've got the Bee and Barb, which can be found within the city of Riften, again of course the Hold the Rift. We've got the Villamir Inn, found within the township of Ivard's Stead, found within the Hold the Rift. The Retching Netch, which can be found in Raven Rock, which is a township on Solstheim, added with the Dragonborn DLC. There's the Frostfruit Inn, found in Rorikstead, within the Hold of Whiterun. The Sleeping Giant Inn, found in the township of Riverwood, which is within the Hold of Whiterun. We've got the Bannered Mare, found within the city of Whiterun, in the Hold of Whiterun. And the Drunken Huntsman, in the city of Whiterun, within the Hold of Whiterun. And the Frozen Hearth, which can be found in the city of Winterhold, which is found within the Hold Winterhold. So again, once you hit level 14, you'll have to literally do a pub crawl around Skyrim until you eventually run into a man in black robes drinking at one of the tavern bars. Sam Guavine. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Maybe you just aren't up to the challenge. A few drinks, a few laughs, and a contest. What could be better? You want to drink off against me? <laughs> Take your best shot, pun intended. Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. Down the hedge, boy! One down, my friend, one down. And another one for me. And how about you? Uh, second drink? Easy as. So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Oh, my problems. Wow. You've really done it. The staff is yours. Uh, that's great. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Ugh, what the foul creeth. My head... It feels like a frisbee. Yes, your head hurts, and you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Throwing trash everywhere? Jesus, I sound like China's environmental minister. Alright, 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 relax, lass. Look, was there a dude called Sam with me? Debella teaches love and compassion. But that doesn't mean we're just going to tell you what you want to know and let you walk away from this. Pick up your mess, then apologize. And if we think you're sincere, 
we'll consider lending you aid. Alright, looks like we just gotta pick up a bunch of random trash off the ground, including some wine, a giant's toe, and this note from Sam. We need the following to repair the broken staff. Giant's toe, holy water, hag raven, feather. Sam. And just as a completely unimmersive interjection from this omnivescent camel, don't worry, you don't need to pick up any of those items listed on the note. So back to the immersion. Once you pick up the quote unquote trash, speak to Senna once again. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness after all. Even for a drunk like you. So do you remember anything I said when I got here? You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. Oh god, no, Rorikstead. I vowed never to return there, and for good reason. Ah, well, to Rorikstead. The township that sacrifices women to grow crops. Check out my full investigation video about it. You'll never want to come back here either. Anyway, this sketchy farming village can be found here on the map, on the western edge of the hold of Whiterun. Once here in Rorikstead, find and speak with Ennis, the adopted Imperial Entrepreneur. You! You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? What on earth are you talking about, you silly little man? Let me guess. I threw trash all over your farm. Is that so? Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The star beauty of my farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? You better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. Hey, that sounds pretty fun. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. So what happened to you, goat? You really don't remember stealing a goat and selling her to a giant? Are you thick? Go get her! At least she's bound to follow you back. You smell just like the fermented feet she likes. Did I say anything about a staff? You mentioned something like that when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. Ah, here we go again. To get Gleda back, we'll need to head up this hill to the south of Rorikstead. Here we'll find Grok the giant along with Gleda the prize goat. Now as soon as you try to get the kid to follow you, Grok the giant will become hostile and attack. So be prepared to fight a giant and kill him whichever way you see fit. You saw nothing. And then head back to Rorikstead, more specifically, to Ennis with Gleda the Goat. Here's your test, I mean your goat, I mean your, your goat test. Now can you help me retrace my steps please? Gleda, I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day! I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. So, to the trade center of Skyrim, to Whiterun. On the map, well, come on, we all know where Whiterun is. Once you drunkenly stumble on through the gates, find Isolde in the trade district. So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Yeah, unlike some things, I've been getting that a lot. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even, as long as you bring back the wedding ring? That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. A ring? It doesn't ring any bells. Oh! Do you know what I did with it by any chance? You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. Who exactly is my fiancé? How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witchmist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Oh good. Well, to Witchmist Grove. This can be found in the heart of East March's volcanic lowlands. And it sure is a grove, and it sure is misty. All we need now is the witch. As we approach the depths of Witchmist Grove, a cabin will reveal itself, and... Ew. Our fiancé? Ah. Quite a beauty. Darling, I've been waiting for you to return, to consummate our love. Yeah, okay, about that, it turns out I need the ring back. 
Uh, it's fake. I'll go and get you a real one. Just give me the ring back and I'll go and swamp it. What? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Oh, Esmeralda. I mean, uh, Moira, look. We can talk this out. Ah! You little slaphead. Someone, call the police. Domestic abuse, stop! Are you gonna... Self-defense? I've got witnesses, I swear. Ah, oh, again? It's the third fiancé that's ended up like this. Ah, oh, well, grab that ring, boy, and head back to Isolde in Whiterun. Here's the ring. Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Morvenskar? Alrighty then. To Morvenskar it is! Ah yes, Morvenskar. This grim citadel can be found here just to the southwest of Windhelm. And be warned, Morvenskar is crawling with all manner of mage and spellcaster types. So be prepared to fight them, and not only to fight them, but to take them all out. Head inside and carve your way through the cloth-clad coven of magic throwers. Soon enough, you'll descend into this larger room with a double staircase and an apparent magical anomaly atop it. This is a portal to Misty Grove. Enter it. Welcome ye mortals to Misty Grove. All you need do is follow the lantern lit cobbled causeways carved curvaceously into these petite yet dainty glades glens and fens of this Misty Grove. Breaking through the ephemeral mists like the beam of a lighthouse floating with the grey abyss, soon we'll spot some friends. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I must say, it was quite a trip, Sam Guavine. Where are we? I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. I've got all the things that we need to repair the stuff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. Ah yes, turns out Sam Duovin is in fact Sanguine, the Daedric Prince of Hedonistic Revelry, Debauchery and the Passionate Indulgences of Darkened Natures. So all of this was just a prank? Ah oh, you, you should start a YouTube channel. Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. So why did you choose me? Am I Pikachu? Huh? Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through, but you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. Well, thanks, I guess. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. And just like that, we'll be safely teleported back to the tavern in which we first encountered Sam. So after all that, now we have the staff, let's check it out. Sanguine Rose, it's got a damage of zero, which is completely irrelevant. For some reason, all staffs have a damage stat that is never higher than zero, nor can it ever be used. It's got a weight of 10, a value of 2087 gold, and it's enchantment. Summon a level dependent Dremora for 60 seconds that will of course fight for you. Alrighty, so let's not beat around the Rosebush. Now luckily the Sanguine Rose will actually stay a relevant weapon for you to carry as it summons a level appropriate Dremora. Essentially the higher level you are, the higher level and more powerful the Dremora you summon will be. So this Dramora will be better matched with the enemies you encounter as you progress on through the game. And for specific clarification, here are the leveling stages and the partnering Dramora varieties that will be summoned. From level 12 onwards, or level 14 onwards, as you need to be level 14 to get the stuff, a Dramora Caitiff will be summoned. From level 19 onwards, a Dramora Kynval will be summoned. From level 27 onwards, a Dramora Kynreeve will be summoned. 
From level 36 onwards, Adramora Marquinas will be summoned, and from level 46 onwards, Adramora Valkinas will be summoned. And while the Sanguine Rose is actually rather useful for any playstyle, this would be particularly complimentary to a caster style playthrough, as the summoned Dromora will taunt the enemies in a sense, holding their attention and their assaults while you stand back and do your thing. And while the Sanguine Rose won't be the only item you'll use, it's a great tool to have lying around in your inventory for those situations where you need just a bit of extra help. Well, you've got it. In of course, the form of a level appropriate Dromora. Now, unlike in Oblivion, the Dromora that is summoned will always fight for you and never turn hostile, which is actually not law friendly at all, but it is much more helpful for the player. Now, just like any plant, but more so just like anything Skyrim with a cool effect, the Sanguine Rose comes with many bugs and underlying mechanics that should be addressed and will be right now. If you have the Conjuration perk, Elemental Potency, the Dromora will no longer summon. Luckily though, this bug has been fixed with the 1.5 version of the Skyrim unofficial patch. And with that exact same version of the Skyrim unofficial patch, the Sanguine Rose also now benefits fully from Conjuration perks that affect Conjured Dromora Lords. It should be noted that if you kill the Dromora, it will not drop a Daedra Heart. However, summoning the Dromora and then using the Wabajack to change it into a rabbit and then killing the rabbit may yield in the rabbit dropping a Daedra Heart. Now, if you're in love, and you give this rose to your follower, they will actually be able to use it. However, if you accidentally attack the Dromora that they summon with the staff, it will flee from you until you sheath your weapon. The summoned Dromora can actually be used as a target for you to level your skills up on. For example, go out into the wilderness, summon the Dromora using the staff, hit it with whatever you want, level your skills up, and then... Once it's dead, just summon it again and repeat. It's a pretty useful way to level up your skills. Now occasionally, the summon Dromora drops a Daedric Greatsword of Scorching when it dies. I'm sure this isn't meant to happen, but it can happen. And for some reason, while in the Soul Can, the Sanguine Rose will not always summon a Dromora. Instead, nothing will happen. And by Azura, if the staff is used while inside Azura's star, the summoned Dromora may be a mage instead of a warrior. If this alternate mage form Dromora dies during the battle within the star and is brought back to life using the Dead Thrall spell, it can actually follow the Dragonborn outside of the star and will remain alive until it dies normally, as with any other permanently summoned Dead Thrall. So that's pretty interesting. Now the holding style of Sanguine's Rose is actually completely different to other staffs within the game, as the character holds the staff much higher up on the handle. Also, on occasion, followers will turn hostile towards the summoned Dromora and engage it in combat. It would seem they just get jealous of your new friend. So overall, it's a pretty useful staff. Even if you don't want to use it all the time, that's fine, but having an extra weight of 10 in your inventory to know that you have the backup of a level appropriate Dromora, I think that's worth the wait, definitely. If you're a caster type and can already summon them, no problem, here's an extra one. And if you're not a caster type, well, that's even better because this now gives you access to something you would not normally be able to do. So although it won't be in your hand during every fight, it sure is nice to know that it is there to be used if needed. So the Sanguine Rose, love it, use it, plant it, give it to a Valentine, do as you will, but overall, enjoy it. And here it is, the Sanguine Rose, more specifically, the Summon Dromora of the Sanguine Rose, in action.
shield is so much. No match at all. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique staff and Daedric artifact known as the Sanguine Rose. I do hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social medias. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on, of course, Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.